What's up guys, Broken Notes here with some more King's Raid and today I'm going to be doing my review video on Artemia opinions, you know all that good stuff. Let, let, let's get right into it. So first off, just a brief observation. First off, this chick, she's mana hungry and if she's mana hungry she's going to be difficult to build meaning that it's not going to be a good idea if you're a low level to pick this chick up. It's not going to be a good idea because it's definitely going to be really painful to try to use her and PvP or PvE, wherever you want to use her at. Also, you can just see this dudging, this dudging by like her, this um her third ability and her passive. You can just pause the video. Um, she's definitely gonna be a strong PvE hero because just her skills are based off of PvE, and it got some really good benefits when she when she's in that PvE settings. But yeah, let's, let's jump right into it and. Let's go. So, I'm not going to read out all her abilities. I want to just talk about it. I don't have it up for you. You can just pause the video. And I'm just going to be doing that from now on. So, obviously, her first ability on Pillar of Light. So, it does continuous damage in a certain area for 5 seconds. And drops continuous... Wait, and it drops the enemy's attack by 20%. This skill combos well with other heroes that can, like, pull, push other enemies into that Pillar of Light. I'm digging the skill. It's very good in raid and bosses. You know, it's another source of attack debuff. I I'm digging it. I'm really digging it. So, her second ability, Critical Intensity, is rocking a... Oh, so let me pull this up real quick. It's, it's rocking a 100% crit damage modifier, but it fires in a straight line. I'm not a fan of directional abilities since heroes like Nala can change um, Artemia's direction, or this, this, those heroes in general that fire in a straight line, even like with Arch. So it, it only, but if Nala, for example, um, changes her direction, it will only hit Nala. But for Dragon Raid, all those enemies are lined up for the picking, so it's gonna be really good. You can see right here, it's it's, it's in a straight line. You can even see like the, the little laser beam right there. So I like it, but definitely for PVE, it'll definitely be a little bit harder for you to use that properly, depending on the enemies you're going against. So now, let's talk about her third ability. This is her third ability right here. So, Artemia's third ability is a whopping four mana, but it stuns, it stuns enemies for five seconds. Also, every kill she gets with that ability drops her cooldown by six seconds. That's bonkers. And spammable in Black Dragon Raid. She feels like a late game hero and will be hard to build, but Jesus Christ, that ability is, is pretty damn good. That ability is pretty damn good. I'm liking it. So finally, her passive. Artemia's passive is the Screams PvE hero, which it is. It increases her ability, her, her attack depending on her stacks. And she does 3% more damage, 3% stacks, to non-heroes. Also, she receives 3% less damage. It's stackable, and of course, all this is towards non-heroes. And this is a visual of her abilities. It's what I was talking about, how it does continuous damage. And you can do other abilities while it's going on. Look at that. Look at that good stuff. And of course, this is her third ability. Bada beam. Pretty damn good. I'm digging her. I'm digging her. But who knows if she's going to be able to surpass, like, just a strong, already strong art, um, wizards like Arch. Well, not Arch, but Arch is, have really good damn damage. But just the other current heroes that does mad damage, like Aisha, um, like Arch. And this is other this strong heroes. We we, we will see how she mash up. I feel like she, she's gonna she's gonna come up to the plate. I can feel it. Also, this is her passive right here. You can pause the video. All that good stuff. But you know, based on the scheme of my video, you know, I have hot garbage. You know, mad overpowered. Definitely in the scheme of this video, she will be overpowered. Because God damn, those skills look balling. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. But. Hey, we might have another wizard that will be bonkers in PvE. So let's see how she is. Let's see how she is. But you know, we have other this other really good um hero um heroes at the moment. Like definitely Lorraine, she's really damn good. She have good damage and this excellent CC against the boss. So we already have a lot of good options. Who knows if people can actually fit her in? If you can, then hey, let's get it. But overall. Let's see. Let's see as she sets into the meta. We're gonna, we're gonna see. We're gonna see how it is. We're gonna see how it is. All right, guys. Hope you guys have a great day, great night, all that good stuff. And you know, if you want some more reviews, you're not gonna. I'm gonna be bringing it out. 
So hit that subscribe button for more that more of that good stuff. And I want you guys to, you know, stay breezy. I'm gone. Peace out, guys.